Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For those of you who do, welcome back. So for today's video, it has been a little while since I've been wanting to do a little makeover in my laundry room slash guest bathroom that is downstairs in my basement. And so that's what today's video is going to be all about. It's not this huge makeover, but little changes here and there make a big difference. And I am so happy of how it turned out. I think it's simple, but it looks much prettier. I think so anyway. Before we get into the whole makeover, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Bed Voyage for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know Bed Voyage, I have worked with them in the past with their amazing bamboo sheets. But this time, since I was redoing the whole bathroom, I thought I would try out their bamboo towels. And let me tell you, I'm obsessed. They come in so many different colors. I end up getting the melange bamboo towels and bamboo hand towels. So it comes with one big towel and then two smaller ones. And I end up getting two packs of each. What's great about these towels is that they are three times more absorbent than cotton towels. They are ridiculously soft. They are odor, mildew, and bacteria resistance because of the bamboo. And they are soothing, hypoallergenic, UV blocking, gentle on the skin, extra large sizes, which is perfect for my six foot four husband. And they are made from 100% Vicos Rayon from bamboo. What I love about Bed Voyage, Bed Voyage not only has towels, they have bed linens. They are in the United States and they are an all women owned. And I love to support my women and they have a depth commitment to sustainability. What I also love is that Bed Voyage linens are not coated from formaldehyde. This is what the cotton industry uses to create wrinkle resistance beddings. I mean, I would prefer wrinkled sheets, a little bit of wrinkles versus, you know, having towels just filled with toxic chemicals. Unlike bamboo cotton, it requires a heavy amount of pesticides and insecticides to grow as cotton is always being threatened by damaged weeds, insects, and other pests. So I end up getting the, I believe it's sort of the taupey color. I will put the exact color that I put. I thought it was perfect. They're simple. The size is great and they fit perfectly in my bathroom. I've also bought some sheets from them, my duvet. I just love the feel of them. I will leave all of their information, the discount code down below for you guys if you're interested. So anyway, happy shopping. Without further ado, we are going to jump right into this video. Enjoy. So this is the bathroom slash laundry room. This is the bathroom in the basement. So when guests come over, it's pretty much this they're seeing. And we also have a powder room upstairs. But right now, there's nothing much going on. So what I thought of doing since right now, over here, all of my soaps, the laundry soaps, when I do laundry is there. So what I thought of doing is creating a little laundry nook here and making it its own warming it up with a carpet i'm going to be changing this right here i'm not liking it putting new towels and maybe changing things up a little bit here this part i don't really mind and maybe adding some long carpet or something and probably putting something right here because there's an odd gap right here and the great thing too here is that i have storage that's on the top but what i wanted to create is probably a little shelf to put all of the, the soaps the laundry soaps and all of my the bounce sheets and all of the stuff so that it's all well organized and it looks pretty and what i want to do is probably add some little wallpaper so that's going to lead me to i'm going to show you guys what wallpaper i end up getting i end up finding one on amazon i wanted to keep it still neutral but with a little bit more texture and creating a little bit more of a nook in this area Okay, so this is the sticky wallpaper that I end up finding on Amazon and I right now there's a plastic on it But I fell in love with the texture if you guys see it. It has different tones of beige taupe ivories and I wanted to create some texture on this wall So we're gonna go ahead and start sticking that I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it double or maybe one since the shelf is gonna go here right because I can't put the shelf on top of this little box here so the shelf's gonna have to go above so I'm thinking that this height is we'll see let's let's see what I could do with this so I took out the plastic and I wanted you guys to see the texture of it it looks sparkly but it's totally not sparkly and so we're gonna go ahead and put it I'm not sure if I'm going to put it since I don't know if you see here there's the wall that's this little side panel here so if I'm gonna go up here as well but if I start going up there, then I'm going to have to go on top. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep it right here. So we'll see. 
hopefully I have enough. The roll seems to be quite big, so I should be okay. Anyway, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go downwards like this, or am I gonna go like this? We'll see. Paper is up. It goes perfectly with the storage up above. The perfect color combo. There's darker lines in it, so it goes and gets a little bit of that topiness. So now we're gonna install the shelf brackets. And I got these, so we're gonna put them about here and then I'm gonna put the shelf on top. I'm gonna stain the shelf and then I'm going to age. I got a regular piece of wood that I'm gonna stain and age it a little bit. I might maybe burn it or chip it so it looks a little bit more worn and old. And then we're gonna put these brackets. I have three of them, but I think I'm gonna put two. So one on each end and that's pretty much it. And then we're gonna put all of the beautiful decorations up. This is gonna go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take this down, put a smaller frame there, some sort of wall art. I also need to take this down. I had bought these hooks that I'm gonna put three little black hooks, and then I'm gonna hang a basket or some decoration with some beautiful towels. So, but first things first, let's put up the brackets for the shelving. So these are the little hooks that I'm talking about that I end up getting for here. So we're gonna put three of them like this and then hang towels instead of having a whole rod go across. I, I'm not a big fan of this. <laughs> this needs to go. I think that this is gonna look more simple and it's gonna look more cohesive with the brackets. I got some black brackets because you guys do know I have some black throughout the house, little accent pieces. So I thought that adding these would add little touches of black here and there. I think these are gonna look good here. So fingers crossed my vision is going to be okay. So I got these little containers on Amazon. I wanna put them in the shower. They also come with these stickers. So for the body wash, shampoo, conditioner. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the shower afterwards and I feel it's gonna look a lot more cleaner and prettier. So let's go ahead and put the stickers. So there it is, the shelf is finally up. Now all we gotta do is put nice little decorations. I think it's gonna look super cute. At first I wasn't too crazy about here, but it's gonna grow on me. So let's go ahead and start putting up the accessories and I think it's gonna tie everything together. Then what we're also gonna do is take out this wall art. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna put something else, something smaller. And then right here, I'm also going to take out this wicker laundry basket. Here are some of the things that I found at Michael's. I found some at Winners. There's gonna be some plants. I got this beautiful laundry basket. And what else? I got this super cute basket. That's gonna go where my little hooks are gonna go. And let me show you guys. I also got these amazing towels from Bed Voyage. I have worked with them in the past. I have their sheets, but I ordered their towels. Look how beautiful the color is and the texture. They feel super great, not too fluffy, not too thin. The perfect feel to a towel that I love. You know, sometimes you buy those towels that are a little too thick and they don't absorb the water. In the pack, it comes with two small hand towels and then a bigger towel. 
so i'm gonna hang those up i'm thinking i'm gonna fold these and put them in this really cute basket i'm gonna play around that's the fun part now begins the fun part so let's go ahead and start accessorizing another thing i wanted to show you guys i end up getting these bottles right now i fill them up with my laundry soap I end up getting them on Amazon and I wanted my laundry soap to look prettier and I think these bottles are super cute. It's going to look great on the shelf. And then I got this one here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one. I have another one that I got. So I'm debating between that one or the other one. But anyway, let's start placing all of the soaps, accessories, and let's see where everything's going to go. say a few months ago I end up getting this at the thrift store and I thought it was going to look perfect in my laundry room so I had gotten it for the laundry room and so what I'm thinking of doing is probably leaning it up against the wall there I'm not sure if it's going to be too big but I've been wanting to put this in the laundry room so I'm not too sure how it's going to go but isn't it the coolest I think I had paid it maybe three dollars Next up, I'm going to take out this big wall hanging here. And what I was thinking of doing is probably putting this one and keeping it more simple and more clean on the wall. That's what we're going for. So I'm thinking that this one's gonna work. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out and then try this and we'll see. If not, then I'm gonna have to find something else. So fingers crossed, it works. Okay, so we removed the big bar that was there and we now are going to start installing the hooks. We're gonna take these out here and then we're gonna start installing the hooks. I'm so excited. up getting this rug and I absolutely love it the only thing that I don't like is this sort of grayish blue right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some fabric paint that I end up getting at Michael's and I got this brown one and I'm just gonna mix brown and black together and then I'm gonna just paint that little blue part and then the carpet's going to be Perfect. So um, I got fabric paint just so that it's not hard. It's written on um, soft touch so it'll feel like the carpet and fingers crossed it will come out the way I envision it. So let's get started with the painting and then let it dry. is all done I think it looks so much better it goes perfectly in my house I wanted to keep little white spots to make it look like it's the same thing as the other part of the rug so I'm super excited I love it I love it I love it it took me a while to find the perfect rug but now it's the perfect rug so we're gonna go ahead and place it
that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video since i did my bathroom downstairs i'm thinking of tweaking it on the not the main floor bathroom but the one up. I've already done a makeover on that bathroom, but I just want to tweak things here and there It just made me want to tweak the upstairs bathroom. So I'm thinking I might do that for my next video So stay tuned. I have a little idea in mind and hopefully my vision will actually come together <laughs> um, But anyway, so just thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your thumbs up your continuous support, and also for your beautiful messages on my 100K. We did this together. This is not just a me thing. This is an all of us. We are a family, and I could not be prouder of us. So the plaque is for all of us. And I still haven't found a place for it, but I will. I'm thinking I might take out one of my hats and maybe put it there just so that we can see it in the background. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know where I should put it. Maybe in my DIY room. I'm not sure. I just really want it to be a reminder. And this is sort of my sanctuary room. So this is where I go to feel good. So I'm thinking I want it either here or in the DIY rooms. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Have the best week ever. I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye.